Hey guys, how's it going? Now, if you have a vintage watch, then chances are high the dials are painted with radium. This was Loom at its earliest stage, and needless to say, they are very collectible. When it was discovered in the 1900s, people would combine radium with paint to make luminescent paint. This was quickly applied to things like watch dials, clocks, and airplane parts to allow them to glow in the dark for better readability. Eventually, millions of watches were painted and then sold all around the world. But nobody could have foreseen the fates of the girls who painted those dials. This is the story of the Radium Girls. When luminescent paint was created, demand for it immediately skyrocketed, and many companies dedicated to providing painted dolls were formed. Times were really bad. World War I had just been declared, and with most men being enlisted to service, it fell onto the women to secure the household finances. They needed money, and the United States Rhodium Corporation in New Jersey, USA, was ready to provide it. Most of the girls who worked there were teenagers with small but steady hands, perfect for painting watch dolls as small as 3.5 centimeters wide. Salaries that were offered were triple the usual rate of a factory worker, and there was great potential for financial freedom, so you can imagine how lucrative the job appeared. All the girls had to do was sit at their stations, dip their little paint brushes into the paint, then slip the brushes between their lips to make a fine point, then finally paint the doll. So, the girls were directly ingesting the radium into their bodies. But why would they do that? Naturally, the girls questioned the managers on whether it was actually safe to put the paint tips into their mouths. The corporation would tell them that as long as it was small amounts of radium at a time, then it was absolutely safe to ingest them. They were given no form of external protection, while the men who worked at the corporation and who did heavier work were given lead aprons and handled radium with thongs. This might seem like gross sexism and endangerment, but at the time, it was believed that ingesting small amounts of radium were not only perfectly safe, but that it also contained health benefits. It also produced an eerie effect when the girls would also glow in the dark after leaving work, thanks to the radium. They then gained the nickname Ghost Girls because they were glowing in the dark, most of them found it amusing and thought nothing of it more than a harmless side effect of their jobs. People would purchase and consume water, milk, butter, and even use cosmetics that were laced with radium because the newspapers reported that it would even add years to their lives by doing so. Even researchers produced results that seemed to say the same thing. But unbeknownst to everybody, this was all a huge cover-up. You see, the research and marketing were done by the companies who had built their businesses around the radium industry. In fact, years before, the person who discovered radium, Marie Curie, had suffered radiation burns from handling radium, and there were reports of people who had died from being too near the element, but the cover-up was executed perfectly. So, being none the wiser, the girls continued working there, until that one fateful day, a girl by the name of Molly Magia, a girl who worked at the USRC, fell incredibly sick. She started suffering from an aching tooth, so the dentist had it removed. And in the place of the wound came ulcers that would not stop seeping pus and blood. Eventually, even her limbs started aching and she could no longer walk. The doctors diagnosed her with rheumatism and prescribed her with some aspirin. It didn't take long for Molly's disease to spread. And when a dentist poked at her jaw delicately, it crumbled on the spot. The jaw was removed, not through surgery, but simply by having the dentist raking his fingers in and gently lifting the entire jaw out. Molly was falling apart, piece by piece. As Molly grew sicker and sicker, the infection kept eating away at her body and within a few months, it ate its way into her jugular vein one of the body's primary veins and she started bleeding so heavily that the doctors could do nothing to stop the bleeding. She died at the age of 24 and it wasn't long before Molly's other colleagues at the factory also started falling ill and dying one by one. What was the company's response to all these deaths? Well, the girls must have contacted syphilis. 
and sexually transmitted disease and would defend its name using that excuse for many many years to come. The USRC would pay for an independent study which would find a direct link of radium poisoning to the girl's deaths. But again, the company would cover up the actual results, pay for findings that contradicted the truth, and blame the victims on trying to gain money for their own medical bills. Finally, a doctor named Harrison Martland tested and proved once and for all that radium was dangerous to humans and it was the cause of the women's deaths who worked at the factory. It was discovered that radium can harm the skin when applied outside the body, but when it was ingested internally, it would cause several thousand times over in damage. Radium is an element which constantly emits destructive radiation. It would literally bore holes in the bones of the women's bodies while they were alive and it would attack the entire body. One woman's spine was crushed from the inside, while another woman's legs spontaneously shortened and then fractured all by itself. Unfortunately, there was no possible way to remove the element from inside the body once it gets inside there. Women would only know they were poisoned, thus sealing their fate when they look at themselves in the mirror at night and see a glowing ghost girl staring back. The legal battle that ensued was long and arduous. Many of the girls would not even see the justice they sought until they were long gone. But when all was said and done, the case had made it clear that corporations are responsible for the health of their employees. The girls suffering from radium poisoning has also led to the creation of various scientific studies which has proven beneficial to mankind. Although all that's left to remember the girls now is the term radium girls and their story. Radium has a half-life of 1600 years, so wherever the girls are right now, their bones still glow and will continue to glow for a long time to come. It is a symbol of their suffering, but it also represents their courage to seek the justice that they deserve. If you have enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe on the left or check out more videos on the right. Penang Watch Guy, out.